back. As we celebrate the legacy and the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. today, we also realize the urgency of continuing his efforts to pursue equality and social justice. A community conversation happening tomorrow would be a good place to start, no doubt about that, to talk more about the racism, trauma, and healing event. Joining us today, Reverend Monique Crane and Matthias Beyer. Uh, Dr. Matthias Beyer yes. from the Christian Theological Seminary. Good to see you both. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having us. Yeah, well, Nick, let's start us. with um, with what we've seen over the past year. Uh, we, we've made a lot of progress over mm -hmm. the past 50 such years, um, but we're still seeing incidents of racism. Yeah, it's, it's showing up uh, in, in local neighborhoods, in urban centers, in suburban areas. We have even just even within the last week, uh, Zionsville, uh, high school students and Nazi salutes. We've seen uh, notes to neighbors, yeah. no, whites only here right. um, in, the, in this area in the last uh, recent months. But, but this is the thing. So we've made a lot of progress sure. and there's still much work to do. Um, and while in recent days we've seen the undoing of progress, mm -hmm. legacies can't be undone right. because hope lives in legacy. Um, and so when you think about uh, what Dr. Martin Luther King uh, taught and preached and spoke about, mm -hmm. that is being studied at Christian Theological Seminary. Yeah. Letter from Birmingham Jail. Students are going over that line by line. Mm -hmm. uh, and not just at CTS, but at seminaries across the country. Students are uh, digging into what happened during the Civil Rights Movement, and they're carrying that legacy forward, despite of what's happening. So progress has happened, progress is needed, and progress is inevitable. Sure, and if you haven't, uh, I urge you, if you haven't read that letter, oh read that letter. It's excellent. It is, it is amazing. Yeah. Uh, so, Doctor, what's happening tomorrow? Well, tomorrow we'll have a conversation on racism, trauma, and healing, a community conversation. It's going to be a large event. And what we want to do is really get people into a conversation about racism. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very polarized conversation right now, and we want to help people understand each other. Now, one of the uh, dilemmas there is you don't show understanding for racist acts. Yep. That's not what this is about. But it's understanding where does racism come from. Research shows that racism is based on deep existential fears, basically, sure. on uh, fears of People annihilation. Are different from you, right? right. Yeah. Uh, but, but that there is in somebody with a racist attitude, there's a fear of not mattering, and that kind of gets put out on the other who is then treated as non-mattering. And so we need to get at how can we overcome those kinds of uh, issues around mattering and not mattering. I have about 30 seconds left. If people want to come out, uh, where can they go and, and what are the hours? Tomorrow, please find your way to Sheldon Auditorium on the south campus of Butler University Christian Theological Seminary. You can go to our website, www.cts.edu, and register there for the event. It's from 6 to 8 p.m., and all are welcome. And we just keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Yes. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having us. It's an important day. Nice Thank to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. We'll be right back.